Okay, so the Redmi K30 Ultra was just announced. Just got out of the gym, looked over the specs. I wanna give you guys my initial reaction. First and foremost, the Redmi K30 Ultra is an incredible value for kind of three specific reasons. First, 120 hertz AMOLED display. Wow, plus no notch. Second reason is the cameras. Now, the IMX686, this dog's got poop coming out of its ass. Uh, dog was scared. The next is the cameras. I mean, it's gonna be the same exact cameras that we have on the Redmi K30 Pro. And that's good. It makes it a good package. Um, the third and final reason that it, the Redmi K30 Ultra is an incredible value is just the price. I mean, the screens, the cameras, the Dimensity 1000, I'm really, really impressed by the specs of this phone. Now there's two things though that we really need to talk about. There's two, there's two important factors that uh, we really need to kind of consider that we need to, to really touch on. One of them, development for MediaTek is, is non-existent right now. Um, um, in regards to ROMs, Gcam, all the above. Like, we have no idea how the developer community is going to react. What the hell is going on here? We have no idea how the development community, we have no idea how the developer community is gonna to react to this. Um, development for the Redmi K30 Pro, Poco F2 Pro, has been slow. Um, and a big part of that has been the fact that the device has not been released in India. If the device is released in India, we could potentially see an explosion of development for ROMs, but you guys, this is a MediaTek CPU, right? And that doesn't make it a bad thing, that just means that it's less developer friendly. I think a big part of whether or not we see development for this device is going to be whether or not it's released in India because there's a lot of great devs that live in India and a big reason that people love Xiaomi devices is the fact that we have options, right? We have options for ROMs, we have options for Gcam, we have tons of great development in the developer community for this device. Another thing that I really wanna to touch on in regards to talking about the Redmi K30 Ultra is back when the Redmi K30 Pro was announced, my specific commentary was that this was a device that was fraught with compromise and that a big aspect of this device's overall set of features, etc., was the fact that unfortunately, Qualcomm decided to up the price of the Snapdragon 865 by uh, approximately $150. And because of that, um, they had to cut other features, like a 90 hertz AMOLED display. When we compare that to the specs and to what we see on the Redmi K30 Ultra, it's pretty clear. The Redmi K30 Pro did not have the 90 Hertz AMOLED display, did not have all those features that you guys wanted because of the price of this chip. Because obviously they could put the screen in, we have it now on the Redmi K30 Ultra. So I think that we are coming to the point now with uh, MediaTek CPUs, and Qualcomm pricing that we might see the AMD effect. We might begin to see, we might begin to see AMD, we might begin to say, we might begin to see MediaTek being the choice of more Android OEMs because 
their CPUs are extremely powerful. Their pricing is lower than Qualcomm. And on top of that, and this is something that I am quite excited about, on top of that, they are not bundling mandatory 5G modems with their CPUs. Their 5G modems are available. The Redmi K30 Ultra is going to have a 5G modem, but it's hard to, it's hard to argue with the value. It's hard to argue with what we have available right now uh, in regards to the K30 Ultra. And it's something that I'm really excited to, to try. Um, whether or not I buy this device, I'm not sure. I'll probably end up getting a used Mi 10, to be honest with you, just based solely on the cameras. Uh, but overall, I want to see what kind of ROM development comes out, what kind of, just what kind of support it gets from the developer community. What's the most exciting thing that you guys want? 